I'm sick and tired of these half-baked videos about James Harrison leaving the Steelers and going to the Patriots. They're scared to express their true feelings. Well, I'm angry, John, and I'll tell you how I feel. You know, I'm pissed. If James Harrison wanted to continue to play, why didn't he go to Cleveland? They surely could use his help. How about San Francisco or the Colts? What about the Giants? No, Giants have enough problems. How I look at it, Harrison wanted to stick it to the Steelers because he had, he has a great body shape and he was standing on the sidelines doing nothing. So he joined the Patriots to acquire your third ring. Just like the Bengals, Chad Johnson went to the Patriots. I think he only received one pass and that year they didn't go to the Super Bowl. When Steelers brought Harrison back in 2017, I thought, what the pickle, what are you doing? He's no guy. But then I thought maybe the Steelers thought, since we cut him several times, and he was has done a great achievement for our team, let him come back as a mentor, make some good money, play a little bit, and let's try to give him the third ring for great accomplishments. No, not Harrison. I'm surprised I didn't see him go to the sideline and go get in a fight with a kicking net. What really makes me mad is Harrison went to the Cheaters. Patriots will probably ask about a very few plays, but they are so smart they will ask Harrison about the players' mentalities, their attitudes, the weaknesses, a person's tells when they're going to pull, run, block, or go for a pass. To me, your legacy is ruined in Pittsburgh. What do I mean? I still remember Franco Harris leaving the Steelers and he went to play for the Seahawks for one year. That really made me mad. Then he comes back to Pittsburgh and sells coffee. Heinz Ward's decision to hold off for the new contract during training camp in 2005. I tell you one thing. Thousands of people took Heinz Ward off their list in the John Madden game and never played him again. Well, they did win the Super Bowl that year. Another time when Bubby Brister said when playing in the Pittsburgh, the lake effect had a lot to do with his incomplete passes. What? What are you talking about? I respected James Harrison so much being cut from the Steelers five times and still comes back and he does great triumph for the Steelers. If I see James Harrison now broken down alongside the road now, I'm, I'm not going to pick him up. I'll just drive right on by. But if I see his children with him, I will stop and pick him up and offer them a ride. If I have any water or anything, I'll give it to him. No, no questions asked. I've lost respect for Harrison and most of all disappointed. I know I don't mean shit to him, but you meant a lot to me, and the inspiration was more than you being a football player. It was you, you're a great human being. Now to me, you have sold out, man. Sold out. Thank you.